his name up <clears throat> and worship him doesn't matter where you are amen amen this is the air I This is my daily bread. 
about you, but the presence of the Lord is uh, in our house, and uh, I'm thankful for what power is there when his, he has begun, his name is lifted up, begin to exalt and magnify uh, the king that is above all kings. Uh, there's something about power and praise, amen. Uh, tonight's going to be a little different. We... Um, are coming out of this quarantine, this social dis distancing uh, fiasco or pandemic, whatever they want to call it. I don't know that they know what they're doing at times. Um, but anyways, we're coming out of it, and we are gearing up. I, that's what I have been feeling for past few days, um, gaining our momentum again, starting to uh, move forward. And, of course, the church will never be stopped. Uh, but because of everything that's happened the way it has, uh, there's been some things that, uh, you know, good measures until we really find out what's going on. Uh, so I wanted to share with you tonight what our plan is as a church, what we're going to uh, one thing that we're going to do, um, if you have your Bibles, want to go with me to the book of Acts, chapter 2. A lot of this we could probably quote. Um, Acts chapter 2, we'll pick up in verse 39. <clears throat> Thank you, Sister Rainer, for singing. Um, Acts chapter 2, and verse 39. And uh, hello, Brother Ramos. Good to see you. And it says, For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Then they, then they that gladly received the word, his word were baptized, and the same day were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Here's what I want to get to. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were gathered together and had all things in common. And I'm going, let's see. In verse, let's skip to 46. And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. And so um, our next step as a church is this, with, with uh, the social distancing and the size crowds and things um, and taking our services online like we have it's really caused me to see things um, in a different light and so it's what I feel is that it's time for the church to become mobile um, and step outside of our beautiful sanctuary that the Lord has blessed us with and so what we are going to do one of the first things that we're going to do and we're going to begin in June, uh, the first Friday night in June, we are going to start meeting in small groups. I have uh, curriculum, I have discussion topics and scripture and uh, a guide to help move conversation along. And there are a lot of things that um, I want to throw out there. <clears throat> this is going to be trial and error, as Bishop said, uh, about... <laughs> how the construction of our church came about. So there may be things that we like that we're going to do, and there may be things that don't work that we'll change. But as it stands now, um, the first Friday night in June, we are going to start meeting in small groups. Now, where I need your help 
is I need about four or five families that will be willing to host a small group that will be willing to open your home up. Um, this is going to be an opportunity that you can invite your neighbors, you can invite co-workers, friends, family, it does not matter, um, but you can invite them into your home to have a little fellowship and to talk about the Word. The theme of our lesson, and I will be telling you more about this as we move forward uh, in the coming weeks, uh, but the theme of our lesson, I believe it goes through um, red letter conversations, uh, what Jesus talked about, um, the words of Jesus, and um, it's it's kind of, it's not very academic, it's very general, it's very um, easy to participate in, and it focuses on getting uh, people involved, getting a conversation started. And so what I, what I envision, what I see is um, our houses being open, and we are gathering together and inviting friends and family over, neighbors, and maybe some finger foods and snacks or something. Um, but we need, we need to take, uh, I, we see the example here, read the scripture where the apostles met in the temple, and then they met house to house, breaking bread. And uh, I believe that we need to um, change gears, and we need to begin to do things maybe that we haven't done. And I see this as a positive step. I see this as a uh, a great um, opportunity um, if, if we are not able to uh, still meet in large groups I'm thinking you know maybe 10 people at the max maybe even less than that and some some of you may be able to join together uh, and meet with mutual acquaintances that that you might be able to establish relationships that's part of what we really need to do we're going to add door knocking back into this. Um, it will not be as common as it has, uh, you know, as what we're going to be doing a small group, but we will be having door knocking. I was asked about this, uh, Brother Brandon Stone, just a few weeks ago before all of this uh, hit us uh, with having the social distance and the quarantine and the virus and all that. So we are going to be adding some evangelism back into who we are. And uh, we had just come through um, our scheduling for the year and had to postpone most of our plans for the foreseeable future, probably through the rest of this month. And uh, But I believe it's time to take a step. I believe it's time to start moving forward and start reaching out. Um, you know, we have I've received a few messages from people that have tuned in to some of our online services and thanked me and had really good positive feedback. And so... I, you know, I said this before, but we are going to focus on trying to maintain our live streaming. Um, I'm taking steps to continue that and further that uh, better quality and things. But we, we need to get this gospel out of the church, and we need to get it in our homes. We need to get it. Uh, we need to be the witnesses. We need to be the light. And I see this as a great opportunity. I am excited about it, and I hope you are too. And um, so this is one thing that we're going to do is small groups. And I'm throwing this out here tonight because I want the questions. I, I, this is not something that is in concrete as far as having a method. Um, I, I am throwing this out there because I want your feedback. I want to know what um, is working for you and what we maybe we can improve and make adjustments and, and, and make it more effective. But I do want you involved. I do want you a part of this. And so I'll be making more announcements as it comes. But starting in June, we are going to start meeting in our homes. My home is going to be open. Um, I've got neighbors, uh, not the Norses. I've got neighbors that <laughs> we're going to try to reach out and make some connection with and invite them into our home. And so um, I, I hope... Not to say that the yeah, Norses can't, say that the to the can't come. <laughs> but, but it's... They don't come I, to church. I don't... <laughs> I don't want to limit, this is not for a church fellowship. This is not for us to get together in fellowship. We have our times of fellowship uh, at church and then dinners and things of that nature. Uh, this, this, is, this is for evangelistic purposes. This is for reaching out into our community, stretching our border and um, who we are, stretching our comfort zones. 
And uh, if we're going to see revival, then we have to put legs on our faith. I believe God has great things in store for our church. And so it's time to put some action to that vision. It's time to put some action. Uh, we've done a lot of things over the years. I know several, several campaigns of evangelism and outreach over the years that we have done. And they've all produced fruit. Um, they've all brought results. And so I know that whatever we do is not going to go fruitless. There will be something that God blesses in and moves. Now, the second part of this is going to be focused on us as a church. We are going to, um, I haven't set a date, uh, but we are going to begin having, uh, we're going to have a, at least one uh, weekend prayer revival. And that prayer revival is going to be on a Friday and a Saturday night. And it will be between now and before we kick off our uh, small groups. And we're going to have some prayer and, and kind of get us tuned back up a little bit. Get our minds focused on the gospel. Get our minds focused on the spirit, the flow, and the anointing. And, uh, and so these are a couple things that I am looking forward to that we're going to do. And I, I guess, you know, in a sense, I'm casting my vision tonight as as uh, the shepherd and letting us know the direction that we're headed. And, and I can't wait for the uh, jail ministry, landmark ministries, to get fired back up. And uh, I love to be around Brother and Sister Barnes because they just uh, are oozing with a burden. And uh, I, I think it's contagious. I think it's a great thing. And I am excited and I want to see that get up and back running as soon as they allow us. And uh, all of our efforts, God's going to bless all of our efforts. God's going to open doors, and we're going to see things. We're going to see some uh, new births. We're going to see some uh, things take place in the Spirit, some deliverance and healing. And most importantly, we're going to see some folks receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I'm excited about that. Amen. So let's uh, make sure that we... Um, Talk among yourselves, and, and, and I'll be announcing more about this Sunday and in, in the coming days as far as meeting together. Um, but we are going to uh, start having small groups. And please, be open to hosting um, a Bible study in your home, if, if you're able. Um, be prepared, because this is how it's going to work. And we also need you to be prepared to begin to reach out. If um, I, I think that if I believe that if we can take the connections that we have already established um, in our network and in, in our world with people that we come in contact with every day and we felt you know we associate with, if we can somehow extend that relationship and get it into our house, then we can maybe deepen that and uh, get them to the house of God. But I, I, I it is nothing for me, and I believe God can fill people with the Holy Ghost in this Bible study, and uh, I believe God can deal with hearts and lives, and uh, just, you know, a few weeks ago when we baptized a young girl there at the church uh, during the day on a Friday, um, her her uh, family, you could see there was a genuine hunger in them, and uh, anyways, regardless of what we may be going through as a world, I believe God wants to send revival, and we're going to do what we can to make sure that is taking place in Scotts Hill, so uh, just wanted to share that with you tonight, and then also I'll be letting you know about our prayer revival that we'll have uh, here in the next couple weeks. I know there's a wedding coming up, and I don't want to cross over the dates on that, but uh, we will be having this. And uh, anyway, so has anybody got any comments tonight? Anybody got any? Uh, I know Brother and Sister Clark are um, going to. <laughs> You get that past Sister Haley, and uh, we'll be there. <laughs> uh -huh. You, you got to tag him, make sure he hears it. Uh, but anyway, make sure. He's that, probably reading the comments, yeah. or at least I would think he is. First small group, Bishop Stone's house, nine p.m. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, anybody have any comments? Anybody have any? Uh, I told you it'd be kind of it'd be different tonight, but uh, I, I'm excited. I'm I'm ready to. Uh, Bishop Stone Sunday made a comment that, uh, you know, just what I've been feeling 
And uh, so um, about making those connections and getting people in the house of the Lord. And so we're, we are going to see great things. And uh, we got to make sure this church is active. We got to make sure that this church is um, not locked in its four walls and that it is moving. It is a living, breathing organism. And uh, it's more than what I can do. If We're not just building this house. Um, the Bible says they labor in vain that build the house, except the Lord build the house. But I'm going to be the hands. I want to be the feet. I want to be the mouthpiece. I want to be the vessel that God uses to bring revival to our community. My heart is hungry, and I want to be passionate, and I want to have a vision for these things. And, um, and I think this world is ready. I believe that all, this, all these things that are taking place in our world right now, uh, there are some things that we maybe can't see with our natural eye. But if we begin to look in the spiritual realm, we begin to see some things taking place. And so 